How's everybody doing? I'm Mustafa, and I'll be talking about immigration and reform. And um, our group uh, came to a resolve uh, last night, but the thing about immigration and reform is that um, there's really two parts to it. There's, if you want to reform immigration, you have to talk about reforming the, uh, the, the policy in which we protect our borders, and there's the policy on what to do with um, illegal immigrants that are already in the country, whether or not to keep them or deport them. Now, as far as the border goes, there's about 2,000 miles of border between the United States and Mexico. And as of right now, only 670 miles of it is actually protected. And um, last year alone, Arizona, uh, in Arizona, there was over 8,600 people that were caught illegally entering the border. And um, as far as those who think that the border is just a big fence, it's actually more than that. Because in San Diego, um, in the early 90s, there were over 600,000 um, people getting caught crossing the border every year. And after the border was built, that number dropped from 600,000 to about 150,000. So it's just a little bit more than a fence. And as far as immigration goes, um, there's a couple, there's, a, there's two sides to the story. People say that to deport everybody that's here illegally, it would be uh, very detrimental to the economy. As a matter of fact, if we deport everybody that is here illegally today, in 10 years from now, it would cost us $2.6 trillion. As on the other hand, though, if, um, if, we, if we have an immigration reform that um, legalizes, that has a legalization program, <laughs> for all illegal or unauthorized immigrants and it enables a flow of, a flow of legal workers, it would result in a huge economic benefit. In particular, it would result in $1.5 trillion in the next 10 years. Michael? Uh, my name is Michael, and like Mustafa said, the two main points are what do we, how do we let people into the country, and what do we do about the people that are here. So basically, like we mainly looked at the status quo to, to see what the problems are with it currently, and what we could do about it. We looked between federal and state, and we decided that we should go with federal, because federal provides the backbone for state laws to be, be built upon, and, and, and that, that goes across the nation. If we do state, then we're only doing one state, and that, that doesn't apply to all of the U.S. Um, the main ways that people are allowed to the U.S. was visas, and it's either a student visa, a work visa, or a visitor visa. And uh, in 2004, we issued about $5 million. And there's also a visa waive program where 28 countries belong to that, and you're allowed to visit the country, and you don't have to get a visa in order to come here. And the thing is, if you're visiting the country and you're not part of that one of those countries, if you're visiting the U.S. and you're not part of one of those countries that belong to that program, you can only stay for 90 days or less. And uh, currently, the Obama administration, their view on it is that, um, on immigration reform, is that family is important, so therefore, um, sponsorship, which is another way you can bring people in, you sponsor a direct family member from another country to here, and, and basically they stay here, they get their residency, and then they eventually get their citizenship. The other view of the Obama administration is that work visas, especially because of the economic downtime that we're dealing with right now, should be cut down because there aren't jobs available for Americans as it is. Um, as to uh, illegals that are here, there's penalties. There's, they, they can be fined, they can be arrested, and they can be sent to prison. Um, and then repeat offenders, they're prohibited from ever entering the U.S., but I mean, if they got in once and they didn't get caught, then they're just going to do it again. Um, and in 2004, 200,000 200, people were, uh, were caught, and they were uh, it's formally processed, which means they were, trying, trying, they were deciding what to do with them, whether it's fine or prison. And only of the 200,000, only 42 were expelled expediently, which means they were basically just kicked out of the country. And frankly, that's a small number. And, and we, we all kind of agree that why was the number so small when it, it was proven that they did something wrong? And, we're, and they weren't dealt with severely. Um, another thing that we, we found out was that after 9-11, the, immig the Immigration and Naturalization Service, the INS, their services was basically split up between a lot of different people, between um, border, uh, border Control, Custom Enforcement, um, Bureau of Citizen and Immigration Services, and Homeland Security. And we feel that 
in order to actually have an immigration system that works, unlike the current system, they should put it all together into one into one uh, bureau. Um, I think that's enough. Yeah, that's it. Thank you, Karen. Hi, I'm Karen. So I'm gonna discuss the Bill of Rights. About the issues we um, discuss on the wiki, um, one of the issue is that whether how will the U.S. be viewed globally, uh, globally if um, these immigration laws are stricter and makes it um, immigrants hard to come come over to the United States. Other issues we discussed was um, the economy. Will the economy suffer if um, the, um, if we are stricter with the reform? You know, how will that affect us? For the citizens, um, we also discuss about the job issues. Whether um, the, these immigrants, you know, they have authorization to work here, but there are also some who work more than one job. How would that affect us as citizens? Um, we also talk about the constitutional rights, whether it applies to people who are um, to a, whether it applies to a person who is not a citizen, yet alone a resident. And we, um, I, I commented on Michael that. Um, you know, even though they're not U.S. citizen, they do have a certain amount of rights, such as, such as right to a fair trial, you know, stuff, stuff like that, you know, that's it. Okay, good. Thank you. Good.